Hello once again, cats and kittens of YouTube, Scat Cat back here doing another Ancient Domains of Mystery Let's Play. It has been quite a while since I released a video, um, that's partially because I've been super busy at work, but it's also because I was sort of waiting on the uh, Steam release of this game um, before I released another video, but uh, it was supposedly supposed to release in mid-June, and here it is July and it hasn't released. So I figured, you know, it's been so long since I released a video, I may as well do one on the old version. So, uh, I'm planning on doing a, a monk character, so hopefully the stats we generate are are uh, in line with a monk. And I'm going to put the, the, the Revenge of Ithrix um, video series on hold, because I just don't feel like doing it. Okay. So, born in the month of the tree, it's hard to change alignment, plus 5 to initial willpower, 2 to initial toughness, and 1 to PV. Those are not bad stats at all. So, we'll create a specific character, male, and maybe we'll go human monk, maybe an elf. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to go rattling. I really always tend towards rattlings because I hate putting on cursed gear, and they're so good at figuring out if... If, I, if gear is cursed or not, uh, with their appraising skill and their uh, detect item status skill. So I am going to go rattling. I just really like the race anyway. So yeah, rattling and monk. A bunch of background information, we'll skip that. Uh, randomly generate stats, so we get two talents. So we'll go alert and miser. Our name, hmm. Our name is going to be... Ollie. You feel that starting your adventure on Creator's Day was a good idea. Cool. So the first thing we're going to do is turn down the music. I got music playing in the background. Then we'll check out our stats here. We got 16 strength, 12 learning, so we can read. That's cool. 18 willpower, 19 dexterity. Nice. 20 toughness. Pretty good. 1 to charisma, 1 to appearance. Okay. Those are uh, pretty low. Pretty low. <laughs> but I think we can. Uh, I think we can get by. Uh, eight mana and eighteen perception. So that's not bad. So we get a plus three bonus to hit uh, with one d nine plus two damage with an arm. And of course, we're a monk, so we don't use uh, weapons. And we also don't want to become too encumbered because if we get even burdened, our uh, our bonuses to uh, unarmed go away completely so we'll go down here generate some monsters down here see what we can do see if we can find maybe the uh the stairs down really really quickly if not we'll get the hell out of here i'm gonna pick up this cloak actually hooded cloak good now i don't want to wander too far away from these stairs so go up here no i don't even want to open a door to be honest Stone club and a rock. Anything over here? We'll quickly go over here. Oh god, we're getting too far away. Nope. You know what? We're just gonna play it safe. All right. So at least we uh, generated some monsters in there. I really, really, really don't want to fuck around in there too much. Okay. So the light of the moon and the stars slowly seems to dissolve the clouds. I don't know what the fuck that means, but, uh, yeah, cool. Good stuff. So we'll go ahead in this starter dungeon really quick, see if we can uh, get a few levels, maybe get some gear, eat this ration, of course. All right. What do we got? Skeleton. So I feel like, you know, with our stat generation, I think we, uh, we kind of nailed it. Because we have good toughness, good dexterity, and we can read. Those are like some of the some of the best stats that I I personally like. But uh, yeah, let's see what we have here for skills. So alertness is good, praising it's already maxed, so that's cool. Athletics good, climbing, concentration, detect item status is always good. Dodge and find weakness, nice. In fact, I'm gonna pump those up actually right now. One two. First aid, nice, haggling, healing, holy shit. Monks are fucking overpowered, holy moly. 
Um, yeah, I'm actually going to pump one more into dodge. So we'll max that out. <clears throat> wow, they have some nice skills. That's cool. I have a feeling this will be a good run for us. All right, we incre increased our unarmed fighting to level one. I have a really good feeling about this run, so we will actually be pretty careful and make sure we don't die. And hopefully we can get some good gear and we can uh, make it pretty far in this run, I think, with these stats and these skills. I wonder if Rattlings just make good good monks or if like monks are just like fucking OP to begin with. I know in D&D monks are overpowered. I'm just gonna kill this cat. I really don't care about that. Suddenly the cat's spirit rises from its lifeless body. Moaning pathetically, it plunges to the ground. You hear a faint echoing roar filled with hate and sorrow. I really don't want to fuck around with like avoiding cats. That's really annoying. I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know. I'm sure to some people it's like super worth it, but to me it's just like fuck it. I don't care. I don't care. All right, level three. Uh, that's pretty much maxed. That's pretty close. So we'll pop some into healing, I guess. Two into healing, and one into alertness. I hate getting hit by traps. And I think this is treasure hunter. Yes, it is. Good. Your looks improve. So now, now our appearance is two instead of one. Holy shit, we're moving up in the world. Let's double. We just doubled our appearance, guys. So. Got to scroll, and we'll move on. All right, I got to move my mic here. Sorry if that was loud. All right. bold. Alright, so we're not doing too bad as far as damage, it seems. Let's see what we can do against this fire beetle. He'll, he's our test. Oh, okay, we one shot at him, too. A robe? What are we wearing? Robes and sandals. I mean, this robe could be better. Of course, it could be cursed. That's yeah, the same. Two robes. So we'll just drop this robe. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, wow. Alright, so... Now, here's what I was talking about. This hooded cloak. We don't know whether it's cursed or not, but our appraising skill did label it as good. Which means that it's either cursed and, like, super good, and, and like, you could put it on anyway, and you probably would have put it on knowing it was cursed, or it's not cursed and it's, like, a good item. So, there it is. And, of course, it's not cursed. <clears throat> One defensive value, one protection value. So that puts us up to four protection value. And we're just now in the first dungeon, so that's cool. Cursed mace. See? That's just, I don't know. I just really prefer that. So that's why I always go with rattlings. Might be a little annoying to, uh, to the viewers, because play rattling every time. But uh, I haven't heard any complaints yet. And really not that many people watch my videos anyway. So, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding, guys? Kill this rat or bat. Don't throw shit at me, little fucker. Alright. Alright, looks like we've... Oh, no, we haven't explored this whole dungeon. Or this whole level, I should say. Oh, fuck. Ah, <sighs> stupid kabold. Went the wrong way, but... I absolutely hate it when... Oh, my God. I hate it when I don't explore the whole dungeon. I don't know, just like OCD or something. So, I'm just gonna keep pumping these up every time. And I'll just... I'm gonna go alertness. There you go. Your muscles feel stronger. Good. Studded leather armor. So we'll pick that up. And hopefully our appraising skill eventually will tell us whether or not it is good. What did it say? I have a fair feeling about it. 
No good feeling. Okay. Pop it on then. Nice. Three protection value. And here's an uncursed horn helmet. Oh my god. This is awesome. This is a great start. I have, yeah, I have a super good feeling about this, guys. So this is going to be good. Nice. One defense. Or, yeah. And one protection value. So we're at seven protection value already. And we're just now in the beginner's dungeon. So, yeah. I don't think I've ever done this well before starting out on any character so I think we'll be good to go we might have a treasure hunter to thank for that also it's creators day apparently so I don't maybe that's helping out a little maybe it's uh, Thomas's birthday Or maybe it was like the day he released this game, like in 1927 or whatever it was. Kick this open. Alright. And there's some rats here to kill. Which I don't mind leveling up with some rats. Dodge is... Okay, so dodge and find weakness. I'll just leave. So we'll go alertness. And actually we're going to go detect item status. I might go two in there. There we go. And there's a bat behind us. Ooh, I actually got hit. Wonder if I can uh, first aid that. There's no recent wound. Nope. Watery potion. We'll grab that. 150 gold. What else? Scroll and a sausage. We'll eat the sausage. So nothing too much of value from that. We leveled up. Worked on our unarmed skill a little bit. Speaking of which, 1d13 plus 4, are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit, monks are overpowered. 12 bonus to hit? I could probably go in coward mode and just wreck shit. I don't know, we'll see. So 2 bonus to hit in coward mode? Eh. Maybe not. We'll see. Holy moly. I guess we can. So yeah, this is looking really good for us. Really, really good. Except for I suck at this game, so... You never know. Advance to level 6 after killing the blink dog. You're now able to use circular kicks. Oh yeah, I should be kicking stuff too. Alright, so we'll pump one in here, one in here. Maybe even two in fine weakness. Uh, no. Kind of want to go more in healing. There we go. Alright. So we did go to Treasure Hunter, so now we can start doing stuff that actually affects us a little more. Tend towards speed most of the time. Although healthy is good too. Although, we could go brawler. Hmm. Yeah, let's do brawler. Because I'm in coward mode. And now I have a plus five bonus to hit in coward mode. So. Okay, a bunch of blink dogs are coming, I guess. Come on. Come on. Leather. Amulet. Amulet. Let's pick this up. Hopefully it doesn't burden us. Nope. Okay. All those blink dogs are dead. It's pitch black in here. I would assume there's probably nothing in here. Huh, yep, yeah, nothing. There's something passing by very close to my head. Okay, I get it. I get it. Just let me out of here. It's a ghoul. Another iron ration. Let's 
Well, alright, so we've explored this whole dungeon now. I think we're strong enough to be able to do a quest. I think I've ever eaten a hippogriff corpse. It's uncursed. Let's see what happens. Uh, you start to consume the uncursed hippogriff corpse. You are done eating the uncursed hippogriff corpse. Tasty, crispy, good. And we're satiated. Definitely want to kill this goblin. Die, you little fucker. Alright. <clears throat> so there's nothing too eventful in these this dungeon, but there's a bunch of good gear. So I'm happy with that. I think we'll do the carpenter quest. Or I mean do we we have healing, so I guess we could do the the druid quest. I don't really know. I don't think I've really done the druid quest before. So I'll figure it out. Yep, oh, the stairs are over here. What are we at? Gloves. Oops. <sighs> I'm retarded. Okay, gloves and bread. Pick up the bread. Alright, not burned yet, so. Okay, let's go here. Maybe the druid won't even give us the quest. I mean, we're neutral. I don't know if that matters. So let's talk to him. Recently we've been plagued by the attacks of an evil sorcerer. He was once a brother of my order, but now has fallen for the dark powers. He's a black druid corrupting the powers of nature and twisting them to suit his darker needs. His name is Keithrax. Find him and defeat him. He has set up his headquarters in a sinister cave to the southeast. If you return with success, I reward thee. Cool. I like rewards. Alright, so it's to the southeast, which is like exactly where the carpenter cave is, so I wonder if it's just the same cave with a different boss at the end or something, depending on what quest you get. I don't know. We'll find out. Shall we? Yes. Alright, so the cave is usually what, right here? Uh-oh, evade this. No. Oh. Evade that. So it is a different cave. Different cave. Same ass kicking. There's a rat. Ooh, it's a were rat. I really don't mind leveling up some unarmed on these guys. What on earth is that thing? A Glockenspiel? I don't even know what that is. Okay, rat corpse. And some gold. I don't know what a glockenspiel does. Is it useful? I'll pick it up. Screw it. Is it a tool? It is. Huh. Use? You have some problems handling a glockenspiel. Okay. Guess I don't know how to use a glockenspiel. Which is true, because I don't even know what it is. this dungeon. I think that's just about it. Looks like there's a r big room over here. Hey, you don't get to leave alive. Oh wow, he's kind of a badass, but he leveled me up. Find weakness. Nice, we got a better roll. Is it better roll? Barely. Oh, it is. So pump one into that. Pump one into literacy. 
I hold stealth. There we go. What level are we? Seven? Ooh. You wanna get wrecked, son? Oh wow, he kinda he actually hit me. A skull dagger. I wonder if it's worth anything. I'm sure it's worth something, but I mean I wonder if it's worth a good amount. Leather boots. Do I have boots? I'm gonna take the uncursed sling and the steel wand. Were those boots cursed? I'll wait until my appraising skill figures that out. Same with the gloves. Same with the amulet. Rings. No rings. Bracers and the bracers. Gauntlets. Okay. So we'll put the sling in here. And we will wait until we get... Oh boy. Oh boy. The fucking blink dog's running like a little bitch. Whatever, that's fine. It'd be nice to get a corpse, but of course, I did not. That's fine. I don't care, to be honest. Battle axe, chain and corpse, no. Alright. <clears throat> On to level 2 of this dungeon. Stupid orc. Die. Oh wow, he was kind of a badass. I missed him a couple times. Is that a ring? A vibrating ring. Again, we'll wait until my appraising skill takes that over. Since uh, I guess there's only like a one-time chance for uh, detect item status to work. Like as soon as it drops and you see it, there's a chance to detect whether or not it is or is not cursed. And after that, uh, that's it. You kind of have to rely on the uh, the appraising skill. Curse close. There's the stairs down. Alright. What do you have? Nothing. Well, I guess I'll pick up an iron ration. Does that burn me? No. Good. That door's locked. So we will go down this way. Hello, Mr. Orc. One of 18 arrows and one of 12 corals. Clothes and a small shield. I don't care about that shit. There's an orc. Kill that. I've got a Fletch reset on him. I can't see us ever using that. Because we don't even know Fletchery, so it'd be kind of tough for us to, to do that. Okay, that's it for level two. Kind of unexciting. Hey, a friendly bat. Our friendly neighborhood bat. What did he have? Iron boots, huh? I'll take those. Now I'm burdened, though. Okay. Are we good? Yes, we're good. Satiated and not burdened. Huge bad corpse. Go down level three. Level three. Oop, there's a potion. I'll take that. Ooh, it took a second to go down. I guess I'm still in coward mode, so. Not doing as much damage as I technically could be. The walls and ceiling of this room are sewn with cracks. All right, pick up that. Pick it up, pick it up. Fortune cookie. I don't really care about that. Don't have the appropriate key. Really don't want to 
fuck myself over. Kicking open doors and shit. God damn it. Of course. Okay, that was fine. Of course, right when I say uh, I don't really want to kick open doors, like, it's my only option. the way down. Oh, wow, that knoll is kind of a badass. You fucking serious? Alright. First aid ourselves. Bleeding stops. Even though we didn't properly take care of the wound. I'm gonna go do this and this. Let's see if I can't wait for a little bit of healing. Stupid bat. Little more healing. Oh, you little fucker. Get out of here. A little more should be good. And... Of course a whole bunch of shit comes in. Get out of here, you stupid orc. Alright, oh. Rabbit dog corpse, that's fine. I guess I'm looking okay. Um... Alright. Alright, it looks like I got a fair feeling about a couple things. Not that... Do I have another cloak? Light cloak. Wasn't that, though. Ring. Alright, we can just do this. Fair feeling about the scroll. Is that it? I guess so. Alright, well, we'll wait a sec, I guess, on the other things anyway. I mean, we're 7 protection value. I think that's probably enough to do this dungeon. Oh, there's a cat. Whatever. He's not aggressive. Pick up this iron amulet. I'll just close this anyway. Oh, whoops. Have caps lock on. Alright, kick. There's a key. I'll grab that. Alright. Left the cat alone. So that's cool. Alright. There's a cave fisher. And a goblin. Shouldn't be an issue. And it isn't. Okay, that I think is where we're going to end this episode, guys. Um, sort of in the interest of keeping the episodes at least slightly like manageable. I think an hour-long episodes are like a little bit much for people, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it here. I really don't know how long it's been. Um, I kind of lose track of time when I'm recording these, so uh, hopefully this is like short enough for people to be like, for it to be manageable. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, you can always subscribe. And hopefully, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.